today's modern society, there is an epidemic of major proportions affecting our finances. We use credit cards in our day-to-day -day lives. However, we rarely question the danger that they present to our financial well-being. Today, we have an expert on the dangers of credit cards, Nicole Gordon, to speak on the threat that our finances face due to credit card usage. Thank you for asking me to come here today, Jackie. Many Americans have credit cards and are unaware of the traps that they can get themselves into with them until it's too late. I'm here today to hopefully make people more aware of how they use their credit and how it works so that they can find a way to use it more responsibly to keep them from getting into financial trouble. How do you think that frictionless spending we obtain through credit card usage affects how we use our money? Great question. I think that any form of electronic spending, especially credit cards, makes people less aware of how much they are spending. When you pay with cash, you take the money out of your wallet and you'll feel this sort of pain and contemplate if you really want to let that money go. Whereas with a credit card, you just swipe. And I think for many people, it feels easier to just keep on swiping. Many people know the importance of paying their bills on time, but they do not realize how much they are spending. If an individual overspends on their credit card and is unable to pay the bill, how does the interest impact the total amount that they will have to pay? If someone does not pay their credit card bill in full each month, they begin to have to start making interest payments. This can increase the total amount that a person has to pay by various amounts, depending on how long they take to pay it off. The longer it takes someone to pay off the interest on their credit card, the more money they will have to pay and the longer it will take for that person to pay it off. I would imagine that the consequences of not paying a bill and the interest incurred would cause many people to go into unexpected debt. How do you think that this debt weighs on the future financial or life decisions of that individual? Absolutely. Debt can be very stressful on an individual, and especially with credit cards, it can be very easy for that debt to build. When you're constantly spending money trying to pay off your debt, future financial goals can be much harder to achieve. Any financial decisions can be weighed down by debt. For example, saving for retirement plans, a vacation, or your education may have to be put on hold. No one should have to live a life controlled by debt. What would failure to pay a credit card bill or failure to pay back credit card debt do to your credit score? Failure to pay a credit card bill or failure to pay back credit card debt can negatively affect your credit score. A negative or low credit sc score is far more than just a number. When you get a job, an employer's background check often includes your credit score. And if your credit score is not good, it could prevent you from getting a job. Also, when you try to take out a loan, you may have more difficulty getting one because your low credit score may indicate an unreliability to pay things back. I know many people, myself included, who own multiple credit cards. Are there any issues that you see with using more than one credit card? And if so, what solution is there to this problem? Having multiple credit cards makes it difficult to keep track of your expenses, especially if you are using a mix of credit cards, a debit card, and cash. I recommend keeping a spreadsheet that you manually track your expenses on. New technology has changed the way credit cards work and look, but this change has brought out a new risk of fraud. Is there anything that protects consumers from credit card fraud? Yes. Federal laws limit the liability of cardholders to $50 for a charge made to the card by an unauthorized user. This liability limit does not change, regardless of the amount of the purchase. What would you suggest that credit card users do to combat credit card fraud? All credit card users should monitor their card for purchases that they did not make. In the case that a credit card or its information has been stolen, stolen cards and unauthorized purchases should always be reported. Wow, thank you, Nicole, for that eye-opening insight into the pitfalls of credit card usage. There are so many risks that Americans are unaware of but face on a daily basis when it comes to credit cards.